good morning and welcome to my channel and this is my sewing and um, yarn vlog and I think it's number 16 yes it is it's episode 16 um, so it is the 1st of November today um, we are in the middle of doing tiling our bathroom floor to ceiling and I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like um, so I haven't had as much time as I like to um, do crafting but I have a few things that I've finished um, basically um, in four days time <laughs> I don't think the bathroom will be finished um, we are going to Cyprus um, it was it's arranged ages ago we're going to see my son who lives there and his wife and my granddaughter Sienna who's four and um, I saw this beautiful little penny um, in um, I can't remember where I think it was T Tesco's I'll put a picture of it up here and um, I thought oh that's ideal for Sienna um, a bit plain but it's a lovely sort of very light denim sort of uh, like a chambray I think it is um, material perfect because obviously it doesn't get very cold out there um, and I thought that would be lovely for her you know um, but I thought it just needs something and when I got home and whenever I take something to Sienna she always says to me nanny did you make this so I thought that will be the first thing she'll say to me so I thought well no I haven't made it but maybe I could decorate it and I've been doing the um, Poppy to Fray um, embroidery club with the applique and um, I also did that um, that B thing where is it I did this finish this and um, with all the bees round I'll put a picture up here of it all finished and I really enjoyed doing the bees anyway so I thought I will decorate this pinafore dress with some bees and some flowers and here we are so this is the pinafore now and as you can see I have done applique flower and I've done a little bee and a butterfly I was really chuffed with that and having done that I thought oh I fancy doing a bit more so I've done a flower and a bee I don't know if you can see a flower and a bee all the way round so there they are and I've done it on the back as well flower and bee all around I will put a picture up here of it on a hanger so you can see better um, but yeah and I really enjoyed it um, so yes yeah, so I hope she likes that because I'll be taking that to her and I'm also I've been making her a clementine one of Luna Lappin's friends and um, so I finished that and I'll put a picture of that and I did show that to you I think in my last video but I thought I need to make clementine a dress you know I can't take it with nothing to wear so um, I found some I couldn't find any material like this in my stash but I found some lilac cotton so I decided to make her a dress and I thought wouldn't it be nice if I put some bees and flowers on it the same so here we are here is Clementine's dress and as you can see she's got three bees along the bottom and two flowers and at the back she's got two bees and one flower isn't she lovely? Now this dress is the one out of the book that has the knots on the shoulder. If I can find it. I did, I did put it aside because I was going to talk to you about it. Yeah, it's this one on the front of the book, this blue one here, and it has ties up the top here. And I thought, well, you know, if the four-year-old wants to take it on and off, it's not going to work with the ties. She'll have to get mum to keep doing it. So I thought I'll alter it slightly and I'll show you what I've done. So as you can see, I've made it. So instead of having a tie, it's got a popper. And that goes on like that. And how I did that was... Um, the pattern Get the pieces out so this was the inside and I folded that over and then you can see I've done my little seam lines and I cut along there and I did the same with the back so then that gave me the straight edges of this 
and then I made a little strap. I made two straps, which are then folded over, sewed together, and that was what this was. In fact, I didn't fold it over, no. I think, I think I um, did two of those and sewed, sewed it down each side and then turned it inside out and then put it on there. So it's a wider strap. And that is how I did it. And I'm really pleased with that. And that's, that is where I think I, I would make more of these because it's perfect for the grandkids. Um, so yeah, and so doesn't she look good? So she's coming on the plane to Cyprus on Thursday and she's going to live in Cyprus, aren't you? There's a lot of cats in Cyprus. And my granddaughter loves these cats. Her mum's allergic to them. But because there's a lot of cats, a lot of stray ones, and a lot of people have cats, um, they're always in and out her garden. So she's fascinated by all these cats and kittens. You know, you go, go shopping and there'll be a box in the car park full of kittens and the mum. Um, and people just put um, food out for them and water um, so they don't starve. Um, but yeah, so she's uh, fascinated by cats. So I think she'll love She'll love her Clementine. So that's what I did there. Then I think the other stuff is, oh, I got another book. And this, oh, I saw this book on Facebook. Isn't it absolutely adorable? Look at those slippers. Aren't they lovely? Look at those unicorn ones. There are 20 patterns. And then there are three different ways you can do each pattern. So you can either make them as like a slide, slide on, or a shoe or a booty. And it's just a beautiful book. Um, I don't know if you can see if I show it to you. Can you see? beautiful so I'm really looking forward to making some of those for all the grandkids um don't know when I get time but I'm really looking forward so that is an absolute beautiful book I think it was um around 10 pounds from Amazon but it's absolutely gorgeous so yes I can't wait to get crochet in with that and you can use it's all um Aran weight um so you can use all your scraps really um so that's good I also got some um linen um, really cheap this was I think it was I don't, has it got the price in here sometimes it doesn't have it on the yeah 279 a meter so it's um, it's like calco and I thought you know that'd be great because what I wanted to do was I wanted to make some little um, shopping bags for the grandkids and then embroider on it so um, and I wanted to make one for myself with um, the Luna I've got um, the transfer for Luna walking her dog that I, I'll put it up here I did show you last last video and I was gonna make a bag for myself shopping bag so yeah and then of course um, my stuff came from um, when I watched Bandy Shaw on um, the create and craft TV show and um, I got the pattern for the advent doll um, I actually thought I wouldn't use her as an advent doll. I'll just use it because she is a, um, a pyjama case. So I thought I'll just decorate her and have her as a pyjama case. So that's the plan. Um, so I'm mainly for the granddaughter's birthdays. And then there was the three cushions, the Christmas cushions. I thought they were really cute and they look quite easy, quite quick to put together, which might be handy because um, I am running out of time at the moment. Because I'm going to be in Cyprus for two weeks, so I won't get a lot done. Well, anything done, because I can't really take it with me. I might take um, a little, little bit of embroidery with me. Um, that I I got. F um, I won something from um, Mandy's channel. It's uh, Pickety Stitch Life So. Life So something. I'll um, have to write it down there. But anyway. I won um, some embroidery from her and I might take that on the plane. Um, I've checked and you can actually take uh, knitting needles, very tiny scissors and crochet hooks. Um, 
on the plane so um, I might um, either take that but I don't want to take anything too bulky because uh, we've only got hand luggage so um, so yes yeah, so I've got to be careful what I'm taking and this was the other thing that I got and this was the autumn cushion so that probably won't get done until next autumn <laughs> But yeah, that's lovely colours. And I, I like that because we're in um, Poppy to Fray. We're doing um, a picture frame with pumpkins and uh, stuff like that. And I thought it was very similar. I thought they'd go together. So yeah, so that's it so far. Um, hopefully I'll be back before I go on holiday. Right, I'm back just quickly. It is now Wednesday the 3rd of November and we're leaving for Cyprus early hours tomorrow morning so um, I'm all packed and I'll put a picture of here of Clementine sitting on the suitcase ready to roll to go to a new home in Cyprus and I thought I'd tell you um, I've packed some bits to do on the plane um, so I packed the two pieces that I won from Pickety Stitch Life So Creative and I'll put them up here um, and uh, I've managed to squeeze them into this little bag um, and I've even made a start on that one and I'm also packing um, this little embroidery um, girl I'll put a picture of her and I saw it. so cute she's actually holding a, a squirrel but uh, a hand out for a squirrel but I thought it looks so much like my granddaughter with the red hair and my daughter's really long and lanky and I thought looks perfect just like her um, so yes I'm hoping to start that on the plane and if I can finish it I'll leave it with them but yes and that will just slip in here because I'll just take the fabric and the and the, and the um, threads the embroidery threads and that can go in my um, carry-on bag so yes so really exciting so um, I'll say goodbye now thanks for watching and I'll be back in a couple of weeks bye for now